achievement, I might as well get the other ones whilst I'm there. Birds and stones. Yeah, forget this guy. As long as you've made the most recent kill, you can progress in your direction. Our direction is always right. I haven't uh, really had much of a chance to check the audio, so please let me know if it's uh, too loud, too quiet, too offensive. Jesus is kind of trippy to look at. I'm just taking advantage of the fact that the winner can progress, just jumping over my opponent. No need for any unnecessary fighting. You shall not pass. You got eaten by a mid hulk. It's a great honor. Now, I'm not all too great at the whole disarming thing. I think you want to flick your sword up or down whilst they are close to you. Come on. If you try an aerial attack whilst their sword is high, you'll instant kill them. So do your aerial attacks with the uh, great precious. However, if you go for a low attack whilst their sword is low, that will also kill you. I find it a bit fidgety switching your sword, however. There's an attack there where you can simply throw your sword. It's a uh, pretty last ditch because it'll leave you without a sword. I'm guessing some people might prefer unarmed combat. I am not one of those people. Well, let's try it anyway. No. I think he just teabagged what was left of my corpse there. Sure how it looks, but it certainly feels more tense than it might look. Europe has got nothing on this. <coughs> Chop up five more deaths for me. Alright, and there I used the uh the lower attack, because his sword was only at mid-height, I was able to sneak in under him, trip him up, and then break his neck when he was down. Plucky guy. And now I'm without sword. Oh, I'll take it. Three for three. Now I just have no idea what this whole thing thing's about, but I don't think you can escape them. I've tried, and I have failed. Of course, now we're back to pretty much repeat the levels, but the AIs are now quite a bit more challenging. And because I'm pretty bad at the game already, that's probably not going to add up very well for me. Like a fool there, I did an aerial attack whilst he had his sword at uh, a high level. But maybe I can trick him into the old neck breaker. Fortunately, whenever you respawn, you have your sword in hand. One thing that got me was just how expensive this game was. I think it was about £14. It certainly doesn't feel like a £14 game. Is this the new 1.9 feature? It takes after a dungeon keeper who can possess individual units. 
I think some people that come away from uh, Total War games into Europa feel that that's what's missing from the game. Me, I can do without it. Alright, keep your sword high. Come on. Come on. Got your legs. Oh, you can actually be a bit cruel in this game, and there's an achievement for it. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, my friend. On guard. Now this game, although it is murderous on the eyesight, I love the music on this level. You can simply play with your foe. He can't do anything. He is dead or dying. And you just keep your sword down. Wiggling it up and down as he bleeds out. Pretty dark game, really. Said you can just ignore them as long as you are the, the most recent as long as you're the one that did the most recent kill, or rather the enemy died most recently. You can keep progressing, so it's uh, quite an idea just to dodge them. Of course, if you died most recently, you have to go on the offensive. <laughs> Each of the levels have their own little uh, little gimmick. This one is disappearing floor, disappearing floors. Since we are fighting the clouds after all. God damn it, hog! Less than ten minutes in, we're almost halfway there. This will be done in no time, and we can get on with glorious Europa. I tried to play this game multiplayer once, the latency was so unbearably bad. I do get the feeling this is one of the games that you would really have to play locally if you wanted the, uh, the full experience. I have taken names today. Please no, please no. Jake, will you do the Gothic Invasion achievement? Well, I will do it eventually. I'm just in no hurry to. Also, I don't know anything about how to play as Nagur. The closest nation I've played in India was Assam, and that was pretty different. And Hindu. Although I do know that Nagur start off with the uh, Northern Indian Sultanate ideas, which are pretty good. What happened there? The advantage is mine. They start with uh, Northern Indian Sultan ideas, which I think are pretty good. They're very tolerant, which isn't something I normally go for, but you are going to be dealing with a lot of Hindus. One of the issues, though, is that if you switch your religion to Hindu, you will end up with Ahajput ideas, which I don't really rate. Okay, they finish off with 5% uh, discipline. And it's a staggering 15% national manpower increase. But frankly, I'd rather have the uh, I'd rather have the Sultanate ideas. Yeah, this level's the quirk is the moving platforms. Or moving floors. Sometimes you can go to the AI into. What's the world record for this game? Wow. I wonder if this is one of the games that you could really perfect. You know, like Mario. Where everything is just done perfectly. Then I am not a speedrunner. Not a scrub runner. Now, 
what a fool. He, uh, he threw a sword at me. Which means he just ran away to despawn. I've been doing well, but I haven't been pressed back to, uh, to the far left. I'm winning by going all the way to the far right, but if they push all the way to the far left, then they will win. I don't know what happens if the AI wins. Let this be a message to all the other fencers. Don't mess with me. He ran away to the left to despawn, so he instantly spawned to my right. The cheeky beggar. Come on, then. Come on. It's not hard. <laughs> Fell from the cutting trap. So as I said, I, uh, I don't have much experience playing in that region, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with Nagur. After all, they start off very weak, and they're surrounded by some fairly strong guys. And those that aren't strong have the Rajput traditions, which means uh, extra core and cost for me. So it's going to be good fun, whichever way you cut it. had some witty things to say about this, but there's only so much I can say about fencing. I tried it once in real life, got my arse kicked, decided never going to do that again. I kept my sword low, which meant he could uh, get the slip on me. Jeez. Getting flattened here. Yeah, Albania is no joke. Uh, we will have to give that one a go soon. I wonder if the different colours of the uh, fencers means anything about their AI or their personality. Crazy with sword throwing. Steady on man, there'll be no swords left for the rest of us. Something quite horrible about all the uh, the red and yellow blood splattered everywhere. Nice of 
die and get my sword back. It would be interesting to play this game multiplayer, as I said, but uh, without the latency issues, because when I tried to play it online, the latency was just... horrid. Right, not many to go, but uh, the flashy guys, I remember them being not much fun. They have any real uh, advantage over the other players, it's just that their AI is better. Probably. I can't uh, qualify that. Okay, he's pushed two levels to the left. Can't allow him to take another step forward. Get out of here. Playtime's over. Unfortunately, I can't think how you would even counter an enemy in this corridor if you have no sword. If the enemy just keeps his sword low, he can just keep running towards you since he can't jump. Okay, what the hell did you just do? I'll let him die. I win. I get the glory of being eaten by the nidhogg. These guys are dumb enough to fall for the disappearing platform trick. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Pacifist run, here we go. guy who takes <clears throat> as many loans for his games as I die in my two hours of hell runs is losing count. They respawn faster? Is that their secret? Two more to go. This, uh, this took even less time than I expected. I suppose I'm not done yet. I could uh, fail it all here and then... I don't know. I don't know if you have to start from the very start or not. Oh, 
that up pretty bad. And for that, I get my neck broken. Alright, come on then. There's such a feeling of comfort fighting someone back to the center from the, the left or in areas. better if I said that before uh, winning rather than before dying horribly and then getting kicked down the pit as the final insult. Come on. I'll give you a smile a mile wide. Last time, and it certainly didn't work this time. I think I did exactly the same thing as I did last. Time. Down to the jumping down hole. But I was still too good. Well, wasn't that something? <laughs> An interesting little game. But I certainly don't feel like I got my money's worth for it. I even think I bought it on sale. But that was Nidhogg, the very own fencing simulator. Uh, maybe things get a bit more interesting when you start doing multiplayer tournaments, but uh, God knows. In any case, hopefully that satisfied the one guy that asked for it. We're going to shut it down now and start up EU4. I'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs>